Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janae and I'm back with another video. In this video, um, I have another prophetic word. I'm so just like touched to hear everyone's comments on the last prophetic word video. I had no idea <laughs> that that video was going to blow up to 10k, but praise God. You, but I'm just so thankful for you all and just your comments just know like they really like melt my heart so thank you all for um, liking and sharing and commenting and yeah moving forward in this video I'm, I have another prophetic word please know that not every prophetic word is for you so remember to take this to the Lord pray about it um, and just see what God has to say right um, so in this video, I, I've actually had this in my Trello board for like the longest time. So for those that kind of know how I flow in the prophetic, God can show me something and then um, it's not always time for me to share it yet. So I kind of stick it somewhere until he's like, okay, run with it. And so in this video, um, he's noticing you. That's what this video is about. He is noticing you. Um, for the ladies that feel like they're never noticed or um, this guy's not paying attention to them, he's not putting an effort, whatever, right? God is saying, hallelujah, that he is noticing you, that he is seeing you, that he is observing you. Um, and for a lot of you, it doesn't feel that way because this particular person might kind of be, I say hiding, but they're not really hiding. But they're kind of like put away where like the light is not necessarily like shining on them. Like they're there, but they're not making themselves known to you that they're really there, if that makes any sense. Um, but he is noticing the things that you're doing, the great things that you're doing. He's also noticing the little things. And he's also appreciating those things about you, whether he says it or not. Um, and I just feel so like, even right now in the spirit, I just feel like this is, this is for somebody. Okay. And I can't wait to just redraw, um, comments and everything. Um, but just rest assured in God for a lot of you, you're like, God, does he see me? Does he see me? God? Like I, I get your messages. Does he see me, God? I'm right here in front of his face. Can he see me? Can he see me? Like, the Lord is just saying rest. Rest, 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 because he is noticing you. Whether you think he is or not, whether you feel like he's paying attention to you or not, the Lord is saying he is taking notice of you. He's observing you um, because he also wants to make sure that you're consistent, that your character is consistent, that your attitudes are consistent, that your values are consistent. Um, over time, because sometimes just to be real men, they can see something that they like, but they're like, okay, is this person going to be consistent or are they going to change? A month later, three months later, a year later, are they going to change? And the Lord is saying, ooh, even for the fellows, for the fellows that are watching, I, this is dropped in my spirit. You have been wondering and you have been waiting to see if this person is going to change. Like you have been wondering, okay, God, she seems nice, she seems this, she seems that, like it almost seems too good to be true. And you're waiting to see if something is going to change to mess that up. And the Lord is saying, no, that's who she is. She's been consistent. She will be consistent. And I don't know why God just dropped that in my spirit. I feel like that's for a guy that's watching. Um, but yes, ladies, rest assured in God because he, he is the one that first chooses us. He is the one that notices us. God calls us to love it. God says, if we are the apple of his eye, then we are a masterpiece. So take notice of even what God is speaking of, what God is saying of you. Because sometimes we can put so much focus in what this person is doing or what this person is not doing. And be like, all right, Jesus, you're on side here, but I need to work this situation out. And God is just saying, just let me love on you. Just receive my love. Embrace my love. Embrace who I've called you. And that God is enough. For some of you, you might not feel like God is enough for you or you keep putting this, highlighting a situation to him that you want him to so badly fix or to make known to you. And God is saying, I'm here. Hello, I'm here. And he wants us to receive him. He wants to be invited in. Um, so that's all I have to say. 
uh, for the fellas and for the ladies. Um, yeah, he is noticing you all. Whether you believe it or not, he is noticing you. All right, now take care and remember that God loves you. Remember that no matter what it looks like, not everything is as it seems. Okay, for some of you, just I hope this settles your spirit because the Lord knows I've wrestled with this before. And y'all will see in my new book coming out soon. Um, sooner or later, probably when I get married, I will do a memoir of this. But for now, this is just a devotional journal that I will be putting out, um, one of them at least, um, in the next couple of months or sooner. So um, stay on the lookout for that. But I love you all. It's raining. I got to go to work. It's thunderstorming. Um, but yeah, just remember God loves you. Bye, guys and dolls.